Well, today's project is all about getting my big knob here on top of the gazebo. So this thing is actually made out of like a porcelain or like a clay. And what they had done with it is this part, this section here, was just resting through the very top up there. And there's a bit of a like kind of a ring and it would just kind of flop down there. I'm not sure that it was actually meant to be like that because there was a bit of a hole through it. So what I've gone and done is I've enlarged a hole the, so that I can put a um, like a one centimeter uh, threaded rod through. And I'm going to put like basically a washer and bolt on the top here, have the rod coming down, and then I'm going to do like an X across, weld a piece across here with two little flaps on the sides, and then sandwich it with another one kind of almost identical. And what I'm hoping is that will clamp down on top between where all these uh, arches are, whatever they were, it connects at the top up there, and that will hold it and be strong enough. It's quite it's pretty heavy, so I'm a little worried about it, but I think it's worth a go. Um, yeah, I've also got to do, I've got to run wire. So I've got some galvanized wire that I'm using. Uh, that's going to tie all around and make kind of like a spider web through this whole thing. And hopefully that gives it a little more sturdiness as well. We don't really love this one. It's a bit dull. Um, we were thinking of maybe getting something else, but I'm going to put it up for now. So if it were to blow off or break or whatever, we'll just replace it. But it's really strange to me that they would use, you know, like basically a clay pot on top. Yeah, so let's get to going to do that. And that's my goal. They're going to measure this up, cut the metal, weld it together, bang, bang. Let's see if I can clamp it to the top of it without it uh, collapsing. Let's go. Well, what I'm going to be doing today, uh, I've been ill for a little bit, but I'm back at it, is I'm going to um, weld together a cross. So I'm going to have a piece like this, like this, and like this. And then the idea is, as long as they're all kind of flat, and then I'm going to have one on top, and then drill a hole through it, and make two of these. And then I'm going to have the two pieces, of, or these two crosses basically, sandwiched together on top of the gazebo with a threaded rod going through it, holding onto the big knob, the green knob thing that goes on top of the gazebo. Uh, it's actually made out of porcelain. It's a little bit heavy, not porcelain, but clay, like, you know, like a clay pot, which was weird. And, but anyway, so what I'm gonna do is try to mount this up there with that, because I'm not really sure how else to mount it before they just kind of had it hanging and sitting through the circle, but it didn't look very good. So I'm gonna try this and uh, let's give it a go. It's worth a try, right? Let's get welding. So I finished welding these together, these two crosses. Um, they're okay, they're a little wonky. Might even the edges are a little bit, as in like the tops are a little bit off. But even then, I don't think I'm gonna worry too much about it because the idea is that they're gonna go on the top of the gazebo and squeeze together like that. And I'm gonna have this rod here. It's like a one centimeter rod, threaded rod poking through them like that. And then I'm gonna have a couple nuts, squeeze them together like that. And then this part of the threaded rod is gonna go up through the big green knob on the top. So that's the plan. Uh, I'm gonna have to obviously paint them. They're quite hot still, uh, but probably tomorrow, and it's getting a little late in the day, but probably tomorrow, I'm gonna go up and test to see if this will actually clamp. Uh, even without the knob on it and see if it works because probably should do that before I spend too much time painting them up and making them pretty, right? But yeah, it's uh, my welding is getting eh, slightly better considering it's been a few weeks since I've done any welding. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, see how this goes. Let's try assembling this later in the next shop.
So one little thing that I've been doing um, is the top of this big green knob is there was kind of a hole in it and there was kind of a, a recess. And what I've done is I put in a washer, a lock, uh, and then the metal rod, the threaded rod through here, and then a, a lock nut. And then I was like, well, what, am I going to just leave it kind of exposed like that? So I didn't film it. But basically what I did is I took um, construction adhesive, interior, exterior. And I just, I have quite a bit, a few extra of these, and actually one of them was pretty old. So I just put a big blob of it on there and put on some rubber gloves and just mushed it around. And now basically I'm kind of sanding it so that it's somewhat smooth. And then I'll prime it and paint it. Because this is just, this is just, you know, clay or porcelain, I guess. Um, so I'm just trying to make something that looks a little more like a top. Um, it's not going to be perfect, but that's okay. This whole thing's a bit wonky and everything else. So I'm just going to smooth this out and uh, paint it up. But yeah, it's, it's so far it's worked quite well. It's really hard. Well, it feels like a clay almost. It's, you know, it's, it's good enough. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. So it was something to try. So there's just going to keep working, sanding on it. And there's a couple little dimples in here I'm going to fill in. This little blob extra of this stuff. And then hopefully that'll be nice and smooth. And then I can go get to painting it. And we can jam it on top of the arbor. Or not the arbor, the uh, gazebo. Yeah. Let's do that. But just, yeah, just an idea. It seems to work well if you're ever kind of filling in something in maybe like a porcelain uh, flower pot or something like that. Not porcelain, clay flower pot. They would probably stick it together. Something you're going to paint afterwards. Yeah, works pretty good. Probably work on roof tiles too. The clay ones here. But anyways, it's all good. I think it'll be all right. You're never going to, you're not going to see it. It's just, I didn't want to have the big silver bolt uh, and washer showing because when you look out the window from an upper floor, you're going to see this thing on it. So I'd rather just have it painted. Not quite so visible. It seems to be working. Once again, when you're working with old stuff, you're never going to get perfect. So, Good morning. Well, today I'm actually finishing the garden. Well, not finishing it, but we're done for this year. So the last thing that I do is put this topper thing on the top of the gazebo and then we're all done. And then I'm into the house and I'm doing all the chasing for the wires, for electrical plugs and sockets and running the lights for the ceiling lights, that sort of thing. And then also going to be working on the air conditioning system. Um, I've had to spend a, quite a bit of time redesigning the system. Um, and then basically what we do is we present that to a air conditioning company or a place that sells them. And then they send over a, a guy who will basically do the final connections and filling it with gas and all that sort of stuff. So I'll be running all the, wire, the, the electrical wires, the drain uh, pipes, conduits, whatever you want to call it. And also all the uh, supply and return hoses for or copper pipes for the air conditioning units. We're looking at having probably somewhere between 15 and 18 units inside. I think my initial calculations is we need about 40 kilowatts, which is pretty big. It's basically this place is almost like a small little mini hotel or like an Airbnb kind of thing because it is so big. We're kind of going back and forth of what we need, what we don't need. So there's going to be a bit of time where I'm not online as much because I've got to calculate all that before I start smashing holes and everything. But the new system, I found this VRV stuff, um, which is probably more in line of what we need because we need so many units. It's probably going to work better. So I'm going to look at that and then wait for a couple days, get that sorted and then get working on doing electrical chasing the walls. So what I have to do as well is I have to take up the floor in the hallway, most likely sections of it so I can run those hoses through, drill through all the, the 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 floor joists and stuff like that and then run through the ceilings and there's a lot of there's a lot of work to get done and I want to do it right instead of having to make a big mistake and then to do it over again, right? So anyways, that's the plan. But for right now let's get this up on there.
Wow, this is hard. Whoa. Might lose this thing. Now, uh, this is going to work. I don't think it's going to fit perfectly. That is scary. Ooh. This is tough. Okay. Of course, I brought the wrong wrench. I mean, the ratchet up. How wobbly is that? Well, I have to risk it. Quick. It's fairly sturdy. What can I do? It's not going anywhere. No? Let's take a look at how crooked it is. I'm hoping it's somewhat straight. Eh, not too bad. Not perfect, but it'll do. I don't think it's too crazy. I don't think it's got too much gold on it. Just a bit of fun. <laughs> 